If you're coming home to somebody in your family who is higher risk, I would advise just taking extra precautions. One is think about where you're going before you leave the home. Do you need to do X, Y, or Z? If you do, okay, fine. Um, one of the things we've been doing in our family is getting more uh, – of doing the online ordering, like you can go to like Walmart and online order and then they'll put it in the back of your car and then you can just kind of drive away. Um, so that's one way because as a physician, I can't risk a 14 day quarantine. I have to be here to work. And so we're minimizing my contact more for the protection of my patients than, than for our individual family. Um, but if you have someone in your household who is higher risk, think about where you're going and where you absolutely need to go there. And when you come home, you need to before you interact with that person, you need to wash your hands. Depending on the kind of exposure you're talking about, do you need to change your clothes or take a shower? For me as a physician, I do, when my when my babies were very little, when my son was first born, when I came home from work, I would. I would change clothes, shower. That way when I was holding him and hugging him, I wasn't worried about you know that kind of contact. So it depends on the contact level that you have with the person in your home and what their immune status is. Um, but I would definitely recommend uh, hand hygiene before you interact with them.